Okay guys, I want to tell you um, a wee red flamethrower pattern. The hook and the vise is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the flag just to keep the rear and the front body bright is uni thread 80 and white. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just knock on a few turns of thread and remove the waist tag. Now the rib and the tag on the rear part of the body is going to be an oval gold tinsel and small. So I'm just going to take a length of this off. Now I'll just offer it in underneath the hook. I'm just going to come in with a couple of turns to catch it in. Bring the oval gold underneath the hook. And then I'm just going to run my thread down, tying this in. Now I'm going to bring my thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval gold tinsel. On the fifth turn, bring it up and in between the two hooks. Come around with a turn to hold. And then I'm going to run this up and thread up the first part of the body to there. Just going to fold back the oval gold tinsel and just simply tie your th this in on the way back down. Now, the rear body is going to be the Chinese red floss, just the uni floss. So I'm just going to take a length of this off. Offer it up to the hook. Just pull it in the length of the body. You can just run your thread up, tying this in. Up to there. I just like to run it through my fingers. Yeah, I'm going to get it started. Just bring it up the way we bring up a tinsel. Just one turn in front of the other. To create your body to there. Put it across with your thread. One turn to hold. A couple of turns to the skewer that in. I'll just come in and trim the excess away. Then we can bring up our oval gold tinsel. We've got three turns on the body. There, put it across one turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure. And then trim this away. Now at this point, I'm going to put on a red cock haggle. You want a long each one, you want to be long, in this type of, in this state of fly. Right, it's coming in, strolling back a favours to locate the tip. I'm going to offer this up the hook, one turn to hold, another turn to secure. I'm going to fold back the tip and just tie in up over the, the tip and the haggle. Come in, locate the tip, bring it away. I'm just going to come in with my scissors. Stroke the haggle fibers back, and you're going to get one turn in front of the other. And the turns that you put on is up to you. It's how you heavy or sparse you like to dress your flies. It also depends on the quality of the, the haggle that you're using. So, right. Just check and just oh, that's plenty for me there, so I'm just gonna come around with my thread and just catch it in nice and tight now. What I want to do is I want to try and keep the the front body. There's a wing to go on top of this, but I just want to keep the front body as smooth as I can. And I want to keep the haggle stem underneath. So I'm just gonna run this up. Don't worry about anything else at the minute, just tie this in. Keeping my thread tight, break the stem away. Right, anything that's going forward, I'll just come in and sweep this back. Then bring my thread turns back down, tying it in to there. Now, I'm going to put a wing in this part and it's bucktail, red bucktail. Just already prepared it in advance. Sit there. Uh, you can have this as long or as short as you like, it's up to you. I just like it twice the length of the hook over the back. I'm just going to hold it there, around with a pinch and loop, and a couple of tight turns just to secure it in place. I'll just come in and see how we're sitting here. 
right, that's ground. Right, we'll put in a couple of strands of pearl crystal flash. I'm just going to get two strands here from the way from the hank. And then just offer these up into the wing. Right, I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop, another turn to hold. Then I'm going to fold these back, waist ends, and I'm going to leave all the flesh in the wing. I'm just going to come in and trim this the length that I like. Just come and get that sitting nice. Then I'm going to come in and trim the, the bucktail, a bit of a tapered cut. And then we'll run our thread up. Tying this in, right? Just want to get this to stay on top. Up to there, right? On the way back down, I'm going to tie in the rib. And the rib for the front body is going to be a gold wire. This is just a gold wired small. So it's going to offer this in underneath the hook, a couple of turns. Bring the gold wire underneath. It's just much like I did with the oval gold tinsel. And just run this down, tie it up against your haggle and bucktail. Front body, Opal Mirage tinsel and large. Right. Get a bit of this off here. Scooch stuff the Opal Mirage tinsel and large. So I'm going to take a Bank this off. Stafford up. Just pull it in much the length of the front body and just tie it in. Just run it up. Then we can bring up our oval mirage. Right, wanna get your first turn nice and tight under the bucktail and the mid haggle. And then you just one, you can one turn, or slightly overlapping the other. We'll bring this right the whole way up, nice and tight, fill it around with your thread. One turn in the hole, two turns to secure. Then come in and trim away the excess of the oval mirage. Then come up with your gold wire. You're in three turns on the front body, much like the rear. Nice and tight. Room with the thread, nice and tight. One turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure, and just come in and bend and break away the wire. I wouldn't cut it unless you have a pair of, pair of designated scissors. Right. I'm just going to bring the thread on down to the eye. Just get the bed of thread down here for the haggle at the front. Now, the haggle at the front is just a red bodger haggle. So it's going to come in, it's nice and soft, it's nice soft haggle this. Nice and mobile. Stroke of fibers back to reveal the tip. Turn the hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip. Just bring your thread back up over the tip on the haggle. Come in, locate the tip, break it away. Just fold these back on the fingers. Just let them one turn in front of the other. Much like the mid haggle, the turns are entirely up to you. It's also dictated by the the actual fiber on the haggle. Right. Let me check. I'm gonna put one more in. It's plenty for me now. Right. Just to keep a hold of your haggle while you're around with your thread. Do a turn in the hold. Couple of turns to secure. Then I want to come in and trim away the axis. Right, anything that's going forward at this point, I'm just going to come in and fold it back. Just tie it in nice and tight. Right, we're not looking too bad. I'm going to put jungle cock on. <coughs> Excuse me, you don't have to put jungle cock on. So we keep ours. I'm just going to put um, two eyes on. 
like I say, you, you don't have to. Just got the two eyes. Just gonna get them lined up in my hand here. Just so that's the two wee eyes are you're just seeing the undersides. So just gonna stroke back the fibers, I'm not stripping it off, I just want to stroke them back just to get a tanning point. Yeah, start for these up to the hook. Just come in, just fold them down each side, just keep a hold of them. And then just come around with a couple of loose turns. And then we can come in and see how we're sitting. Okay. Let's see what the length is like. I want to sit around. Let's come in and get the length. You want to make sure the length's right just before you tie them in because once you secure them in that's it you know right so i'm happy enough with that so i'm just going to hold the jungle cock eyes tighten up a couple of turns i'm going to fold back the stems just come in fold them back thread to the eye just tie up over the top of them nice and tight stage now keeping your thread tight and come in break away the stems just keep your thread tight if you're going to do that still got the thread tight there's just a couple of wee fibers here take those away now just going to whip finish off at this stage and what you can't do on these this type of pattern you can put a pearl head on it just using the flash what I'm going to do is I just like to brighten my head up with Glow Bright Floss number 4. So I'm just going to come in, get the Glow Bright Floss started. Come in, just trim away the excess here. And just fold up your head. A nice bright head on the fly. There, keeping the floss tight, we'll just come in and throw in a whip finish, nice and tight. Come in, trim away the floss, and then just to seal the head up, just some super glue. Just the whole way right round. Just as the first coat, and then when that dries, I'll just come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish. Now, that's a good wee fly if you fish um, PD water, uh, Spade River, that sort of thing. So, look, give a fly a wee go, and hopefully, you can catch you a few fish.